Hello, it's Diana, and today, the day that I'm filming this video, <laughs> the energy has been pretty crazy. Uh, so I, what I thought about was like grounding. People need to ground. Wow, I mean, there's, we know that lately the energy has been pretty crazy, and especially what's going on in the world. And then, oh, as well as, this is Good Friday. I'm not Good Friday. Black Friday, when I'm filming this. And I also think that contributes because it is a crazy time when people are consuming. They're all over the internet. They're desperately buying. We're being bombarded with messages and messages and marketing and sales, which is so much psychology behind it, too. So we're being bombarded with all these messages and this high energy that um, is around. And so I wanted to do a video about grounding. What is grounding? How can you ground? How is it good for us? What does it really mean? You know, is it just crazy talk? So, <laughs> well, it is really important. I can tell you it's not crazy talk at all. And I've been using it for years. Now, if you've ever done yoga, you've done some sort of grounding, that's for sure, because that's kind of what it's about. It's not called that. Like they probably don't even refer to that. Um, but it is because you are feeling and being in your body as well as connecting um, your body like to the earth when you're taught, when you're thinking about how you stand, how you place your feet, all of those things. So that's why yoga can be such a good stress relief and make you feel so good too, is because of the grounding aspect of it. And you're using your breath. So um, that's kind of what we're talking about. Now, when we are, most of our days, we're super busy and we're in high stress and we're worried about what to do and we're going and going and going. And we are thinking about mostly other people, other things, all of that outside of ourselves, the circumstances, the situation, other people's energies are affecting us greatly. They're bombarding us and we're feeling like so off centered and so rattled. So most of the time we live up here in the head, right? And what grounding kind of means is, is bringing ourselves back to us, back into the body, connecting with mother earth, connecting with and mother earth, of course, is very grounding energy, very safe, secure, loving, it's home. So that type of energy I'm talking about, you know, when you walk in nature and you feel just so good, you relax, your whole body just relaxes, you're still, your mind slows down, you don't have all those crazy thoughts once you've been in it for a while, right? You go to a cabin in the woods and you stay there for a few days and it feels like you've rested for two weeks. That's kind of grounding. So anybody who meditates, you know about this and you know how you can feel when you've really gotten into that meditation because you are more in your body, you are more grounded. So grounding can be as simple as walking outside in bare feet, connecting to the earth, walking on the beach, walking on a trail, touching a tree, hugging a tree, whatever. But we can't always do that. And especially now during this uh, time, which is winter time for most people, we don't ground ourselves because we're not in nature as now, we're certainly not outside on barefoot. And so we can get caught more up in this high stress, ungrounded area. And also what people do sometimes is they go, oh my God, I need to connect to God source universe. You know, I'm feeling so off. But what happens is you're focusing on connecting up. That's not grounding at all. So even though we may think, and this is what I used to think, oh my God, I didn't know about grounding. I didn't understand that thing. And I used to think, well, to feel better, I need to connect with God's source energy. But what happens is we can float around. And that's totally different. If we are not grounded, we will still feel antsy. So today I was feeling very antsy, like just like, oh my God, this antsy, this nothing seemed to satisfy me. Um, I started doing something and I didn't want to do it. I wanted to do something else and I couldn't sit still. So that's how I knew I needed to ground. So what you can do for grounding, a very simple thing is you would breathe, sit, sit tall, shoulders back, chest out, inhale for four into your nose. Exhale from your mouth. And you just do that to release some energy. So a few breaths like that, inhaling through your nose. Exhale. You can just release the energy. Now you want your shoulders to be back and straight, your back straight, because you don't want to hunch. It's not good for your breathing. So as you inhale for four, exhale for about six. Count your breath, slow it down. Inhale for four. And as you exhale, 
as you exhale release your shoulders relax feel like your energy is floating down like a warm soft blanket through you through you through you through you down 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 into the center of the universe like there's a pillar of light that's moving down through you or a ball of light and it's going down down right out of you down into the center of the earth and you can also sense like it's growing roots or it's like a tree trunk and it's going down into the center of the earth growing roots and grabbing onto that beautiful center of the earth which has very loving safety stability um home energy where you just feel loved you feel connected you feel calm you feel centered you feel focused you just feel that like a big warm hug that's the energy you want to go to and by just setting that intention by just saying ah oh, this feels so amazing you know this feels so beautiful i'm connecting to the earth you will feel more like that so it's an inhale for however long you want i say four counts and it's good to count because it takes your mind off of the thinking mind so inhale for four filling yourself up like right from here don't go above your head right just expanding through the the, the chest area in through your belly, whatever as you inhale, and then exhale through your mouth and just dropping, letting those shoulders drop, feeling your whole body relax bit by bit as that energy goes down, 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 down. You can even focus on releasing fear, stress, worry, doubt, or pain from your body down into the universe as you exhale down into the earth and feeling it being left down in the center of the earth. Like, I'm letting go of all this junk. I'm leaving it in the center of the earth. It does not belong to me anymore. And then you can inhale the beautiful, loving earth's energy. Feel it coming up from the ground into your body, expanding, filling every inch of your body, and just expand through your body. So that's that loving, stability, comforting, safety energy. And again, as you exhale, just let all the fear, stress, worry, doubt, and pain leave your body. Go down, down, down into the center of the earth. Leave it all there. And then in return, inhale the beautiful, loving earth's energy back up through your body, rejuvenating every cell so you're feeling it to a cellular level, this beautiful, wonderful energy. Feel your body as you inhale. And then exhale again. And you just want to feel yourself sink into your chair, into your floor, wherever. And just feel how calm you can feel after you do this. It's beautiful energy, it works pretty fast, and you can do it anytime, anywhere during the day. Even standing in line at a grocery store, right? You can inhale. And then exhale, but your intention, and you visualize in your head, right? Just bringing that down. And just feel your whole body relaxing as every exhale. All right, well, I hope that helps. And I have my new 28-day program. And it's a guided journey through uh, the book, The Magic, as well as we are doing many techniques, tools, and practices to help you live more stress-free and feel more calm and joy during the day. You seriously can, no matter what is going on in the universe, what is going on in the world. I know because I've been practicing this for years. There is a way that you can come and have more control over your inner state of being. And that really is the only thing we can control. And your inner state of being affects how you respond and how you see and how you view and how you live in the world around you really, really important. It truly, truly is right. So you have the ability to um, stay with that connection within yourself find your own safety security truth love joy peace all of that and we're also going to be doing um, things where each day you choose to do things that bring you joy and that make you happy and that connect to you and have time for you right this is your life right you want to go into 2021 with practices tools and techniques to be able to handle anything and once you learn these things, you truly can, because it is how we react and respond to things that keep us in that crazy, stressed out way. Because different, same things can happen to different people, but the people choose how they react and respond to them. So some, I could be standing next to someone and something could happen to both of us the same and she could freak out and I could stay in a nice calm state. So it's not really the action or the circumstance. It's how it triggers us within or how it affects us. So we'll also be looking at beliefs, patterns, 
and these trigger things that we've been dealing with that have kept us in sabotage, stress, being over emotional, reacting, fight or flight, all of that kind of thing. Okay, so we'll be doing that through the 28 um, days leading into the new year. Oh my God, start your new year in such a better way. And now it doesn't mean you're going to be happy and everything's going to be perfect because that's just not normal. But really it is about living the best you can and working on the things you can control and change and um, love, which is you, the inner state and you. And you will see how your energy, changing your energy affects everything else around you also and learning to manage and the energy that's coming into you and manage your energy so that you're not bombarded and e so easily um, affected by others energy and by the energy of what's going on in this world right now very powerful things to learn so you can look at my website dianamarchand.com and um, it's a 28 day journey called release and I also going to put the link for it in the description below and in a comment below on this video. This is for November, December, 2020. So much love to you. Bye-bye.